Welcome back to the Balance Act of Teletainment. It's a good morning, Niger Show. Now we get a very catered guest in the house. And what do we want to talk about? Now, if you notice, everybody talks, make people go into entrepreneurship business. Make people begin to run their own business. The government don't go employ everybody. And we don't hear. Now, a lot of young people don't need to come inside business. They do their own business. They do their things. But now, because capital no day, because funding no day, to start a business now, one thing, to continue now, that thing, uh, just as the Bible been talk, uh, it is not, it, it is not a sprint, it's a marathon. Uh, say, nah, nobody to start, nobody to start in the cocoa, now nah, the continuity, now nah, the main thing. But if money no come day for these young people to continue their business, which thing will come happen? Now we get some, a very current guest in the building, we go follow us, discuss this particular matter. Uh, this is our guest, uh, in uh, the founder of Young CEOs, that's what they call them. I'm going to join us as we welcome Aigbe Omorigi inside the building. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. You Welcome Good morning. to the show, Igbe. Okay, so we'll just start from basic about telling you telling us about your own um, background and your qualification. Waiting, um, waiting you be in the business world? Well, um, my background, I uh, study investigative journalism. Okay. Um, I never used a work before, okay. but uh, I the businessman right from time. Mm. Presently, I they run the company where they, they call Intercontinental Pent Limited, a mm. uh, company where I start 2006 with just 18,000 after I graduate from school. Mm. And by God's grace, I also be the founder of the Young CEO Initiative. And that one, we say, with the user help other young entrepreneurs where they try to come up. Now, the reason why I established the one, I suffer a lot of setback when I try to start business, grow business as a young person, because I don't get access to people who go mentor me for business and others. Mm -hmm. So because of that now, I can't establish that one to give a happy hand to those who just start business and to also help them get access to mentorship and funding. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, um, you don't talk, so you will get different challenges as you will start up your own business uh, several okay. years ago. Now, presently now, mm -hmm. what do you feel that, the, the, of course, everybody knows money is a big matter, but what do you feel that be one of the biggest, some of the biggest challenges where a lot of young entrepreneurs they face presently now? Presently, one of the challenges where they face, we say, they not get access to people who feel mentor them well mm -hmm. to run their business. You see, for you to go through particular road successfully, you will go through that road with the person who had already mastered that road. So it's not about money. I'm coming. First. Now, no, I'm coming. Now, it's one thing to now master the road. It's another thing to get the money where you take for the car will go take you mm. through the road. You see, yeah. now. So finance now the major problem now. A lot of people know what it that they do, but because they don't get access to this finance. Now, presently, most of these young businesses don't they close down where where? Most of them don't close down. Some of them just gather the little way they get left, travel abroad. Now not forget, say now entrepreneurs or SME, now they employ the highest number of people for this country. Mm. We get over thirty something thousand, uh, sorry, thirty something million companies under SMEs. And we get over fifty something million people where they employ. Now imagine, say, one million SM, uh, entrepreneurs don't close down shop, and then they employ at least five or six or seven people, each of them. You can imagine how many millions of people go do on the street with that job. Now, if you look at, because from which they talk, we even get reports, they get statistics, say, mm. apart from starting up a, um, a business, sustaining mm. it in another thing. Yes. Now, they talk, say, 80% of businesses, we don't start up. Mm. They don't crash, they don't fall, they don't scatter, they don't yakata, bam, within the first 18 months of setup. Mm. Now this is very alarming. Now, not not only for Nigeria but even all around the world. And would they try to understand because a lot of our entrepreneurs they blame either government policy, do they blame either village people, do they blame either certain things where they happen, they say maybe their mama, papa, grandmama, grandpapa, sister, cousin, friend. Don't they pursue them for their village? That's not why certain things don't they happen the way it's supposed to happen. Mm. You feel say whether not government policy or whether not infrastructure or whether not some amenities get your own role to play in making sure say these entrepreneurs they get conducive environment to actually thrive. Yes, I do. Now, one of the things where every government supposed to give their citizen, first of all, remember say every government is about the citizen. Now, to create that enabling environment, it's just like landlord now. For you to get rights to collect our strength from your tenant, you must make sure say what are good, what are they, like they, the environment is conducive enough for the tenant to stay. Then at the end of the month, at the end of the year, the tenant no not pay her strength. You get the liver go meet and say, hey, 
give me my house rent. The same way, our government is supposed to provide that enabling environment for business to thrive, for instance. Mm -hmm. Now, for here, presently, entrepreneur or young person who just start business, no fee, what can enter bank go take loan. No matter how small the money be, if you give a check, for instance, of one million naira, and your account they use 50 naira to short, the same bank go return her. Meanwhile, now the bank with the bank with several years. So our government supposed to look into all these things. Okay, fine. How will they help these people? If, for instance, small company, what if they do up to 10 million a year? And it does say that company don't they consistent with that 10 million naira? If that company come back, say, I beg, I need one million. With that collateral, the bank should be able to give that company. You understand? Because they don't say this business don't this standard yeah. bar for grant. You understand? Then the bank also, the government will make sure say no their job not just to they collect money from people. The bank may they pull eye for people business, help them they set them up. Yes. Not people just they run after people, come up on account, come up on account. No, no, no. Your interest Suppose we say this business where they collect their money, make every time now and then once in a month, may I send people to go help them put a structure in place. Not be every entrepreneur with this street or we get business, don't go to school where where. Mm. You understand? So they lack some certain things. If I say they lack some certain things, not me say they not get potential. That is where the bank comes in. And the government they are the one to help the bank. We go feed do all these things. No, we understand that even from the financial, the banking sector, because mm. um, people, we people still don't understand why the <coughs> banks they collect so much interest in double digits. Yes, we need to understand why they because it can't be it be like so oh, they blame them. So okay, they know they give out the loans and they know they just want to know the monitor, but they too they also get where they come from. Sometimes from waiting, I even asked one of the an analysts where be they talk about getting giving out loans. Mm. He said sometimes they get orders from above, maybe from CBN. Say they need to meet a certain deadline, and if they know if they meet that deadline based on the amount of money where they need to get back, to now wahala for them. Mm. So this one too, they also discourage them from actually going out to look for these young people who actually really need the money, where figures and where to do the kind of thing. You feel say that excuse is valid enough for the banks? Well, you see, they're valid. But the truth is, like when I talked before, now I'm government. Mm. Now me are you the year. Now person get the company where you they work for. Your MDF come now, so you get up, come off a stage. You understand when I talk? Mm -hmm. The same thing will be. Now, the same, that CBN, where they take direction from? Now, that same CBN, they respond to government. Now, the government will come to tell CBN and say, guy, listen, the thing where I want me you do relies on some of your policies between now and between social -so time and social -so time to make sure, say, this group of people get access to these things. For instance, government supposed to know when to come up with serious policy and also to relax on that policy. Presently, the way things be for young entrepreneurs is so tough. Not be now they're supposed to come up with those tough policies. Give for example, give an example of the policy. Okay, good. Now, like what you talk just now, say, bank, if you feel just work at a bank, go take money and the interest is very high. Yes. That interest rate now might kill a lot of businesses. For instance, let's take microfinance. Microfinance, some of them, they give up to 10%. Every month, not parano. Some of them, they give up to 5%, 6%. Every month, not parano. Imagine young entrepreneur, we just go borrow 1 million naira. We borrow 10 million naira from bank. And go pay 10% of that 10 million. That is 1 million naira every month. And that same person is expected to make profit from it. And he will still make profit, also pay in staff, pay in house rent, pay the office rent, or maintain the equipment. Tell me, how much you want to come make within 30 days? Tell me why that business not go die. The business go die. So which solution, if you prefer, from your own um, vast of experience, where you don't get inside Good. the business world? The government supposed to come up with emergency fund for young entrepreneurs, intervention fund for young entrepreneurs. And they will make sure say this fund is properly monitored. You know, if you set up committee to look into young people issue, you go pull Hoodman. Mm. We never experienced their problem before. You understand? If you want 
pay attention to people with this street, collect people from the street to also pay attention to them, to reach these people through. May they bring out money. The one where Bank of Industry they give and all those development bank, they, they try, but it never reach. And again, the process where you, they, they go through for all those banks, it's too much. You know, if you ask young person where just they start business, say, go bring collateral, where you know, say, you never get that collateral. There, there, there are ways where the fee take come up with things and solve this problem. I know say Lagos State at some point they came up with um, a way to give out loans. They, they give out loans earlier this year and we're giving it at an interest rate of 5%. That I was very aware of when it happened. But this one now, when they talk of government, what government supposed to do? You mm. now, with the new, with the establishment that you create for entrepreneurs, what do you they do for your own small yard, for your domot? How you they take manage to make sure say entrepreneurs for our country, they get gallant to a certain level? Okay. If you they follow us over time, you know say we they try our best in our own little way. Now, the, the young CEO platform, now for young entrepreneurs, like what I talked before, to get access to mentorship, with the mission say they get access to people we don't they up there, we don't settle for business to mentor them. That is one. Then two, in our own little way, we make sure say that they get grant from us. This kind of grant, our access to grant, where we not get, where we they start. You can imagine how I struggle to start Intercontinental Paint. And we are still struggling to build it to date. You understand? So we they give them, even as small as 100,000, we they give them grants. Grants, not loans. Not loans. We don't give loans. Now, what we are trying to do now is to now establish young CEO cooperative just for young entrepreneurs. Once you are part of that cooperative, then you cannot have access to the kind of facility you want at maybe one or 1.5% uh, interest rate. Now, what will they try to do now? Because most time, these people don't get access to these things. Once they get access to this, imagine somebody where they look for 100,000. You go reach bank, bank not go give them. Imagine somebody where they look for 500,000. You go reach bank, bank not go give them. They still go bring property. So, what you go qualify somebody to be part of this, um, an entrepreneur? What you go qualify the person at this point to be part of this um, um, cooperative for Good. First thing, what you go qualify this person to be, and you go register with us. Mm. Then your business must be registered. CAC approved. CAC. Once you have your business registered, and we know that your business has been running for up to about between six months and a year, then, and we have your bank proof that yes, you don't already did run this business. You get your CAC registration. You get a uh, uh, bank statement where you should say, yes, you don't run the business. Then we see where you they actually run the business. These three things, that's all. Okay, now how people will fit a reach now on social media, and they get social media presence? Just go on uh, Facebook, young C, uh, the Young CEO Initiative. CEO initiative. Oh. All right, thank you very much. I uh, be I know it's not the first time we don't jam, and yes. I hopefully, hopefully, say we go still meet again and do more things for young CEOs and entrepreneurs. We know the entrepreneurs will not way forward for say we Nigeria. All right, now so I don't hear them uh, from I be Omori again. Don't talk about how then they take help young CEOs with the initiative uh, where they get on ground. So go on social media, go on Facebook. Young CEO initiative, you will see the things where they do, the things where they don't do in the past. I don't know how you could fit take benefit from there. You know, also sunch us with how the government fit take fit take uh, help young CEOs by, by doing some kind of bank policies where go favor people so that businesses no go to collapse due to lack of funding. And of course, them they also look into mentorship because mentoring and uh, they say uh, you you you, if you get as many clothes as your papa gets, but you don't forget as plenty of rags as they get. So you need people who don't did the business before. To know to, to feel strong on how they feel they pass through all those troubled waters, take rich solid ground. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.